Welcome to Dorming Kegger, I'm Tanner, and today we're back for another Budget Booze Review! That's where we take a budget bottle of alcohol, meaning under $30, and we give it a good review. Today, back by popular demand, the Stillhouse brand. Today we are reviewing Stillhouse Apple Crisp Whiskey. This bad boy comes to us at $9.99, but it's only half of a fifth. But if you double that, that's $20 and still under our $30 price range. This guy is 69 proof. <laughs> Oh boy, 69. And uh, so 34.5% alcohol. And uh, yeah, so let's get in there. Like, subscribe, hit that little bell at the bottom, follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all sorts of Dorvin Kager shenanigans. And if you are looking forward to some of the craziness here at Dorvin Kager, then hit us up in that Patreon link below. Welcome to the greatest channel on earth. Suspend your disbelief, it's Dorvin Kager. Alrighty, guys. Like I had said, our uh, producer, Jamba, told me that, hey, the Stillhouse videos, they seem to do well. So, I was like, well, I'll pick up uh, as many of them as I can find. So, this is Apple Crisp Whiskey. Like the uh, peach tea whiskey, the faintest hue of yellow. Faint, 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 faint. Slight apple juice smell to it. Now, what I'm going to be really interested to look for is the crisp part. Not so much the apple. You could do apple liqueur, in my opinion, pretty easily, okay? It just tastes like apple, right? Green apple, I mean, I mean, it's pretty. It's a pretty recognizable, easy flavor. Give me the crisp, though. I want the crisp because I think that bready crisp is going to be the harder uh, note to nail. So, cheers. Okay. Okay. All right, Stillhouse. This is probably my favorite still house yet. Not only do you get a very approachable apple flavor, but you do get a little bit of breadiness on the back end that I think they're trying to push the crisp with. That's pretty darn good. Um, yeah, that's that's interesting. It's pretty good. Very apple-y. Um, as promised, but yeah, let's get back in there. Not bad. A little bit of burn. Which I'm kind of surprised at because it comes in at 69 proof. Oh boy. 69 proof. I expected a little less burn. But I tell you what, I immediately want to put this in an apple teeny instead of apple liqueur. I immediately want to drop a shot of this into a Red's apple ale. And I want to mix this with Sprite. Very approachable. Very tasty. And for $9.99, not bad. I'm going to give it a 3.2. Pretty good. I suggest you actually pick this up. This could be a low-key sleeper addition to any bar. That's really good. Anything that you would use Apple for, substitute this. I think you'll be delightfully surprised. So, if you have a budget bottle of alcohol, meaning under $30, that you want us to review here at Dwarven Kager, drop a comment below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, go back, hit that bell again, so you know when all of our cigar videos are coming out, you know when our cocktail, our cooking, our nerdiness, our convention, our tons of beer reviews, or like 70 something at the filming of this video, you'll know when all of it's coming out if you hit that bell twice, so go ahead and do that. Till next time, pick this up. Like I said, low key, this could be a game changer in your bar. So, cheers. Nailed it that time, okay, boy.